Firstly, there's three um, sub-themes that I think are important. The first one is ICTs. ICTs for people with disabilities is very expensive. So for me, we would be able to leave no one behind if we could bring the costs of ICTs, make them accessible, especially for developing countries, then we would leave no one behind. The second aspect is issues around people with intellectual disabilities. I think they have really been left out and it's a sector that's very un less understood and we need to give them more space. But lastly, the SDGs for, uh, is aligned for South Africa with our NDP and when we reach 2030, the SDGs will be 2030, so we will be able to actually measure the impact both from our NDP and both from the SDGs. So I think the alignment works and makes it possible for us as South Africa to leave no one behind. On the ICT question, you've already called on states parties to involve people with disabilities in the innovation and the development of some of the technologies. How important is that? It's very important because if you look at, for example, just the innovation of smartphones, everything becomes touch screen and for me as a visually impaired person, to try and get a phone is like looking, visiting a dentist. So um, if I was involved right from design stage, I would be able to make the necessary input. If you look at the issues around how the wheelchairs are designed, some of them becomes literally unpractical as much as they are accessible and they'll make a physically disabled person's life easy and you give this uh, very complicated motorized wheelchair to a person in Africa where there isn't even a decent road for a car to drive in if they were involved they would have maybe changed the wheels and gave input on what this wheelchair would look like if I was in a rural area and it's things like those that are very basic that we are saying let's involve us so that we are able to make the input at a design stage but also be part of the solution. You've also Deputy Minister welcomed the 10 year anniversary of the, uh, of the adoption of this convention you've also called it uneven and a bumpy road uh, what has made it so uneven and what is making it so bumpy? I think, um, firstly, uh, looking back at the 10 years for us as South Africa, it's about uh, evaluating our legislation. It's about ensuring participation of people with disabilities. It's also about changing the way we do business, the way we allocate resources from a budgeting perspective, the way we engage with families or with people with disabilities, but also how we structure our comprehensive social security systems to be able to not create a welfare aspect, but to have exit strategies for people with disabilities and that for us is what makes it a bumpy road. A final question but uh, no less important is the uh, implementation of this convention in national legislation. You, you made reference to the white paper, how far are we down that road? We've launched our white paper, it's in operation, we are layering it and um, supported by the SDGs and the NDP processes as well as the 14 outcomes, I would say we are well on course. What does that mean? Are the wheels turning? I mean, what's your deadline? The wheels are turning, cabinet is approved, we need to report annually to cabinet. We've passed our white paper with a very fully detailed implementation matrix. So the matrix is like our indicators that gives us um, the map on where to go, how to do it. And for now, we're on track. Deputy Minister Bogopane Zulu, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Sharon.